Okay, here we go again. I want to show you my cooling system. It's uh, the end of January 2012. It's about 40 degrees outside. Something like that. Now I have burned up. I took all this old moldy stuff, rotted stuff, and I burnt it in this old fishing stove. Here's what we got here. We got a pretty good fire going there now, yeah. Pretty good fire going there now. And uh, we got a thermometer on the stove. Right now this thing is burning around 900 degrees. You got it up to 900 degrees. Now, to keep it from getting cherry red, you keep it cool. I got a just a, uh, just a standard 20 inch window fan behind it here. You know, up here, this is a thermostat. This fan goes on. When this guy gets up to around 250 degrees, the air back here gets warm enough to turn this fan on. And that blows the heat off of the stove into this room, into this living room. You can feel it right here now. We've got a tremendous amount of heat coming out of this. I want to keep that stove cool. I don't want it to get cherry red. The problem with that is this room gets too hot. So what I got here, it looks at the thermostat on the wall to prevent this room from getting too hot and uh, the rest of the house getting too cold. I got my system set on cool. I think you can read that. Now this is my cooling system. To get the heat out of this room, I got it set now. When it, I set it at 75 degrees. When it gets above 75 degrees, the cooling system is activated. It turns on the fan to the furnace. Now, and here's the furnace room. We got two new furnaces in here. These furnaces are just for backup. Uh, they're part of the cooling system more, but we don't have air conditioning. What's going to happen is this concrete block is going to soak up all the excess heat. So, normally the air return, cool air return in the house is down here in the bottom. So I got a pipe up here, comes up here, goes up over the top, up to the ceiling, above the fireplace. So it takes all the hot air out of this room, puts it back into the cold air return of the furnace, and distributes it all the way down to this end of the house. Again, more concrete blocks. Now we got a heating vent here. That warm air from the living room is getting pushed into here. The temperature in here, well, it's right at 70 degrees. Right at 70 degrees. Uh, it's 80 degrees in the living room. It's 70 degrees in here. Feels to be about 75 in this room. Again, concrete block. And I'm going to add more masonry. This paneling is going to be all James Hardy concrete masonry. But so what I want to do now? I got uh, I put a thermos uh, thermometer up here. I don't know if you can read it. Right now, I think it's about 90 degrees up here at the ceiling. And that's why I got the cold air return, taking this warm air from the ceiling, getting rid of it. That's the only way we're going to keep this room cool. Take the heat and get it out of here. Get it to the rest of the house. So, and this is all part of my cooling system. Primarily, uh, the system in this house is cooling. Uh, it costs more to heat than to cool in Georgia. So I'm working on a cooling system. I got plenty of heat. I got to get rid of this. Uh, the new furnace down here puts out around 75,000 BTUs. And I can beat that with this wood stove, which I've been doing, burning up all the crap that they put into this house and made a big mess with the moisture, mildew, and mold problems. So, uh, I'm practicing getting rid of heat because in the summertime we're going to have plenty of heat here in Georgia. This is going to be the warmest room with all this glass. And uh, so this is the system I'm going to use 
to soak up all this heat and moisture, put it in the block, distribute it, and uh, in, in, in accordance with the passive conditioning techniques that have been used with masonry for thousands of years and uh, still used throughout the world not used here in the United States where we got plenty of cheap energy and houses are built cheap to consume energy but uh, so that's where we're at so far we'll uh, I'll come up around the eyes of Mark somewhere around there with a 90-day report. That's where it's at so far. And uh, so those are the pictures on Pete. Have a good St. Valentine's Day. See ya. Yeah.